Sam Altman is a prominent entrepreneur and investor known for his work in the tech industry. Born in 1985 in Chicago, Altman showed an early interest in technology and programming. He received his first computer at just the age of 8 and by the age of 13 he had already started building websites and programming in BASIC. After graduating from high school at John Burroughs School, Altman enrolled at Stanford University to study computer science where he immersed himself in the Silicon Valley tech scene. While still a student, he founded Looped, a location-based social networking app that allowed users to connect with friends and discover new places to go. Looped was gaining traction and attracting investors, so Sam Altman dropped out of Stanford University in 2005 to pursue his entrepreneurial ambitions. Altman saw the opportunity to grow his company and make a significant impact in the tech industry, and he felt that he could do so more effectively outside of the classroom. Although some deemed the move to be risky, Altman's decision to drop out was not uncommon in the tech industry where many successful entrepreneurs, including Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, also left college to pursue their business ventures. Altman believed that he could learn more by working on a startup and gaining real-world experience than he could by staying in school. His gamble paid off as the company was eventually acquired by Green Dot Corporation in 2012, marking a major success for Altman as a young entrepreneur. Following the acquisition of Looped, Altman became an active investor and advisor in the tech industry, backing startups such as Airbnb, Reddit, and Stripe. In 2014, he was named the president of Y Combinator by co-founder Paul Graham. Y Combinator is a startup accelerator program that has helped launch some of the biggest names in tech including Dropbox, Reddit, and Airbnb. Under Altman's leadership, Y Combinator expanded its reach, accepting more startups and launching new initiatives such as the YC Fellowship Program, which provided funding and mentorship to early stage startups. Altman also became known for his outspoken views on entrepreneurship and innovation, advocating for a more open and collaborative tech ecosystem. On December 11, 2015, OpenAI was founded in San Francisco by Sam Altman, Reid Hoffman, Jessica Livingston, Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, and others who collectively pledged $1 billion US dollars. Elon Musk first raised concerns about the potential dangers of advanced AI technology, so the initial vision was to spearhead an initiative for safe and open AI development. And that's where the history of OpenAI began. The company initially focused on developing artificial intelligence for video games and other applications. In 2016, it released its first tools, an open source toolkit for reinforcement learning, open AI gym, and universe, which was essentially a test bed for training AI agents. In the two years that followed, OpenAI focused on more general AI research and development, including the concept of a generative pre-trained transformer, or GBT. In 2019, Altman stepped down as president of Y Combinator to focus more on OpenAI. As CEO of OpenAI, Altman has worked to build a team of top AI researchers and engineers, and the company has made significant progress in developing AI that can learn and reason like humans. In November of 2022, OpenAI released ChatGBT, a language model chatbot built on top of GBT3. One of the most jaw-dropping aspects of ChatGBT is its ability to understand context. The chatbot can generate answers and adjust them based on the conversation history. This means you can train ChatGBT within a conversation thread to get more accurate answers. ChatGBT, the popular chatbot from OpenAI, is estimated to have reached 100 million monthly active users in January, just two months after launch, making it the fastest growing consumer application in history. However, there have been ethical concerns about the use of AI technologies. AI technologies can automate tasks that were previously performed by humans, which can lead to job displacement and economic inequality. Some applications of AI technologies, such as those that involve surveillance or social scoring, may infringe upon human dignity and autonomy. Thus, AI systems must be designed to treat all individuals fairly and without bias. This can be a challenge in cases where the data used to train the system is biased or incomplete. Nevertheless, Sam Altman's track record is highly impressive as he continues to become a leader in the disruptor of the tech industry. Altman's work in the tech industry has earned him numerous accolades, including recognition on Forbes 30 under 30 list and Time's 100 most influential people in the world. His entrepreneurial spirit and dedication to innovation continue to inspire a new generation of tech leaders and entrepreneurs. We hope you enjoyed this video on Sam Altman. What are the most impressive things about Sam Altman that you found? Drop a comment below and we'll see you in the next video.